Hey there dreamers, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the vlog. I'm Jacqueline, if you are new around here, consider subscribing if you like houseplants and various other things. I'm kind of diversifying over here these days, so see if it's something you're into. We need to address the elephant in the room. Yikes! <laughs> and let's just say my humidity has gone up since I closed the doors to film this video. <laughs> Our gas furnace has been kicking on quite often lately because it's been staying below freezing. My heater has been working hard. It's been stealing all of the moisture from the air. I definitely need to get that humidifier going. So I have brought it up out of the basement. I need to clean it. Click that like button if you enjoy plant chore videos and let's get to it. Look at ourselves a sweet little lady, just enjoying her bed with a heating pad in it. I don't know what her deal has been lately, but she's gone from clingy to kind of rejecting her humans, so I'm thinking she may have just been cold. I don't know. Anyway, hope that's all that's going on with this lady. Okay, we've got some supplies. I have my humidifier on its back in front of me. This is just the mechanism part. Various things to clean with. These actually were covers for my old steam mop. I also have this like microfiber duster thing. I'm gonna kind of show you what this looks like because I've not cleaned this part before. I've had this machine for quite some time. There's not really a way to disassemble this top part as far as I know. If there is, it's beyond my pay grade. This is the bottom like reservoir thing that the upper part sits in. This mostly just has like hard water deposits on it. I technically should be using filtered water with this thing, but I just, I can't keep up with it. This goes through multiple gallons a day. I just deal with it. Uh, but this, I talked about this a little bit in my humidity video, so you can go check that out if you want to hear more about it. I'm going to show you kind of what it looks like so we can get a little before and after action. There's a lot of just gunk. This is where the water kind of gets sucked up into the fan. There's the fan blades. I need to clean those too. They're just kind of dusty because there's not really a way to access them. Or you can see the hard water build up there. Just that kind of white powdery stuff. I did clean this a month or two before packing it away. So uh, not long. So the reason why it gets that way is because there's mineral deposits in our drinking water. I mean, it varies from place to place depending on where you live in the US, but where I was living before <laughs> had particularly hard water. So that is why it got that way so quickly. Pipe cleaners would be helpful in this situation. I don't have any. Looks a little better. I think it does. There's a zip tie holding part of the mechanism together. Interesting. Don't pull on that. I could just lift off the top and dust in there, but I can't. I typically use vinegar for this because it helps to get some of the hard minerals off, but I feel pretty nauseous. I don't think I would be able to stomach the smell of vinegar right now, so I'm using something that smells decent. <laughs> but I would recommend you use vinegar because it's far more effective. Come on, butter. can see how far I can reach onto the fan blades to clean them. Mm -hmm. Oh well, better than it was. I have 
I've never seen it read anything lower than 25, so I think that's the lower limit of it. But before I closed the door and began filming in the plant room though, that furthest hygrometer from the door actually read 10% humidity. So it's like, ooh, no wonder I'm miserable. <laughs> so this should help. Whenever that thing flashes F, that means I have to fill the thing twice. Anyway, the reason why I like that humidifier is because it's an evaporative humidifier, meaning it doesn't put out like steam or anything like that. It sucks in dry air and puts out humid air. So that is why I like it. It is fantastic and it doesn't leave that white film on things like regular humidifiers do. It's real dry in here. 434 right now, so. We'll see how long it takes to get up to the requested humidity level. The next day. The humidifier has been on full blast since last night. It's definitely doing a lot better. However, it's extremely cold and it's fighting my furnace. So I think it's, it's putting up a good fight, but we haven't quite made it to that maximum requested humidity. All in all, I'm still very happy. I got this Monstera Peru or Monstera Carstenianum and I just want to show you how big these leaves are and I would like for it to have more big leaves. So I got a fence post from Lowe's. These guys climb in nature. They climb up other trees. They root to them and that's how they get more light. So I'm hoping that this will root to this plank. I was inspired by a couple of different YouTubers. The, the first one that comes to mind is Caitlin from Plant Life in the Tropics. But I also watched a video recently that Logies did about this. I will try to link a couple of videos about this if you want to learn more. But this is my first time experimenting with this. So we'll see how it goes. Just so you can see where it is in the plant room. Over here. And my Hoya Multiflora is blooming. Pretty. It's got some more about to open. In other news, I made some more chops on some of my begonias. The one on the right is my begonia Sinbad, I think. It's my best guess at this point. This one on the left, this velvety green one, I believe I have identified as begonia angularis, or begonia angularis gray feather. The only difference between this plant and the begonias I've seen labeled as that is that those other begonias supposedly have red stems, red canes. The stems are definitely green. So if you have any other suspicions, leave them in that comment section for me. This is the remainder of the mother plant. I am just hoping to have a little bit more fullness when I repot this in a month or two because I love this plant. A lot of the leaves got damaged since I did ship it to myself. If you did not see that video, I will link it for you. Go check that out. Recently posted about this on Instagram, but you can see all that bright green new growth on my Hoya Curtisiae. It's been three or four months now. Recovered. Rebecca is gonna try to bloom. It blasted the first round of little buds. Please, please bloom.
unfortunately forgot to film an outro clip for this video, but if you are still here, thank you so much. I appreciate you. I will link some videos at the end here that I think you might be interested in. Go check those out if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!